Hello, my name is John Thuma, and today we're going to go over using Session Eyes in Aster, and this is part of the Aster Analytic Learning Series. So, what is Session Eyes? Session Eyes is part of the genre of time series pathing and attribution analysis. I like to think of it as part of the data um, preparation modules as well, as getting data ready for analytics. About Session Eyes, Session Eyes is the process of mapping a unique ID to a series of events in a stream of events. A session is basically a sequence of events by a particular uh, identifier where no more than n seconds, 5, 10, 30, 360 seconds have passed by between successive events. It's really useful in the case of clickstream data, set-top box data, and something we're going to talk about here in a little bit about normalizing dwell time with set-top box data. Uh, it's great for data harmonization where I bring data in from multiple um, channels of a business and I want to um, create a session across uh, multiple sessions across an event ID of some sort. Um, it's excellent for time-based surrogate key generation. I actually use this function to generate a key across uh, some HL7 data, which was very, very powerful. So a fun fact is, is that there's something called the rapid fire um, capability inside of Session Eyes in Aster, which allows you to ignore certain events that may or may not have been caused by a human or a bot of some sort. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that means. So we've all used a remote control on a TV um, where we've uh, you know just held down the the channel button where we advance through one channel after another, one, two, three, four, five, to get to from one channel to another. Well, that, that channel surfing really isn't that critical or that important um, to that session. So you'd want to almost ignore that session. Um, and that's called, and when, when, you, when you can use that uh, rapid fire functionality, you can actually designate something as true or false. Um, false means that the the event is actually part of the session. A true of a rapid fire would mean that it isn't. And you would you do is you'd set a threshold of time where if the event be, between the time between events was under a second or 0.2 seconds, you'd want to say that that was a rapid fire event, and I may want to ignore it. Think of this in the uh, uh, bots on websites and whatnot that can crawl websites fast, and you, you'd want to ignore those. Um, things like that. So that's just some interesting little deep dive about the sessionize command inside of uh, Aster here. So it's really simple to implement. You have an input table, and we're going to use bank web clicks from our previous examples and end path in Aster Express. We're going to put that into the sessionize um, SQL map reduce command, and we're going to generate our results. So what does the input look like for session eyes? And we're using again the bank web clicks, and we're going to ignore now this one. The bank web clicks had a field in it called session ID, and basically we're going to reproduce that, that column today. Um, but for the, sake of our, um, for the sake of our input source, we're just going to select and we're going to ignore, we're going to leave the session ID out of our select field list from bank web clicks, and, we're, and I, I, uh, I'm going to use that inside of my session eyes command. So it's fairly simple. The customer ID is a unique ID for a customer. Um, across all their sessions. So if I'm a bank holder, an account holder at this bank, I would have my own ID. This page, the page ID or the page name is really the event or the click event of the page that I clicked on. And then the date timestamp is the date of the click event. As you can see here, I've got three different sessions and I have more obviously, but I just wanted to highlight that I've got three sessions and there's a gap between this session and this session of time that designates that this really, this is a, a session all on its own. So I don't want to look at these three things together in one holistic um, set of events because they're really three different um, events and we need to create an ID for each one of those three events and that's what Session Eyes does. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the actual statement. So it's fairly simple. You got to create table and we're going to create this table called says bank web clicks and we're going to distribute by hash on customer ID and you can see how I've mapped the colors of the fields um, down here. Select star from session eyes so it works just like any of our other functions on and in, usually in, in past videos I've seen I've shown you how on a table name where you we explicitly call out the table itself and you or you call it the, a view by itself but here we're actually using a select 
command to be the data source for our query. So that's true. So a data source for um, most of our SQL, anal or SQL MapReduce functions can be a table, a view, or a query. So we're going to partition by customer ID, and again, the green associates to the green in the, the uh, fields here. Order by date timestamp. So this is a date timestamp in the in the uh, table here. The time column um, is is the date timestamp. So this is the actual column that we're going to invoke our timeout and our rapid fire against. The timeout number is really the amount of time in between events where I would trigger a new session key for that partition of that customer ID's partition of records. So if I go from one event to another and I have more than 350 seconds between those events, I would throw a new um, sessionized, a session ID into that uh, record. And then rapid fire is 0 0.2 seconds. So if I had two events and there were 0.2 seconds between them, that the, the last event would be um, called rapid fire true which means I could ignore it if I wanted to in my result sets of that session. It's probably something that it wasn't performed by a human, or it could be that remote control on the TV that I was uh, talking about earlier. And then simply order by customer ID and date timestamp. So the output of session eyes is fairly simple. So you'll see this blue area right here. These are the three fields that I'm carrying over from my original data source, customer ID, page, which is the event, and date timestamp, which is the date timestamp of that event occurring. And then I have this session right here because they're within 350 seconds of each other. I have this session here. So this session ID is, what's, is what actually is rendered. One, two, three, four. And there are 350 seconds in between these events and these events here. And of course, these events right here. So you can see here that the rapid fire, all these are human events and it's a Boolean field and it's false, meaning that the, um, the session uh, is, an, the, the event is, is an accurate part of the session. So to do this yourself, um, first of all, there's a prerequisite and you probably have already done this if you've downloaded Astro Express. If you haven't, um, the data is there and you can go through and you can click on this video and actually it'll, it'll take you through building out your table and building out your, um, building out your um, uh, data and, and loading your data using n cluster loader. Um, and then you just basically run this distribute uh, this, excuse me, this uh, sessionize command and create this table just like I did. And then you'd run this query right here and you'd be off and running. So that concludes that. And let's just show you what it looks like in real life here. So you can see here that I ran this query and I got this result set. So basically customer ID, page and date timestamp, I limited by hundred. You can see that I have no session ID. I come down here, let's move this down, and um, I come here and I look at my sessionize command here, and this is, it basically runs, and I persist this into a table called says bank web clicks, and then I run a query against that uh, particular table to show my result sets, and here it is. So you can see session ID right here and the rapid fire event right there. So that concludes our video on sessionize today. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a happy, happy day. Bye.